let's continue with this second block of the advanced part of O11 module as we said before there were three different topics on this part this one is devoted to optical bars and optical packet switching solutions up to now optical networks have been using optical circuit switching so have been circuit switching oriented networks circuit switching has some advantages the, m the most valuable one is that they provide good quality of service guarantees but they have also some drawbacks and the, m the most important drawback is that circuit switching is not efficient for bursty traffic as nowadays most of the traffic is data traffic is internet traffic this traffic is is essentially bursty so uh, circuit switched networks are not appropriate to carry this kind of traffic we have a, a simple example in the bottom part of this slide we have to send uh, 25 megabyte of information on a channel that has 10 gigabit per second of capacity at, at 1000 kilometers we can see how we need to, to send this 25 megabyte we need 20 millisecond and on the other hand we need two more 20 millisecond to establish and, and, and to release the resources so, so we need 20, 20 more milliseconds for setting up and, and tearing down the channel the final result is that we are only using the channel during 50% of the time so it's, it's, it's not the resources in the network are not efficiently used to solve to solve this these problems as it happened in, in, in the electrical networks optical packet switching appears of, as the future technology the idea is to apply the, the optical the packet switching concept to the optical networks so traffic is sent by, by means of packets that are sent to the network and 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 they don't need to establish previously a circuit as a result of, of that we can have more bandwidth efficiency because we can take advantage of statistical multiplexing because the resources are just used during the time needed we have more flexibility and, and we have uh, 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 less complex network management of course we are losing quality of service guarantees but for sure the, the final result is advantages we have again one example and, and we see that to send different uh, bursts of traffic we need three different optical channels three different wavelengths if we use optical circuit switching while we need only one if we use optical packet switching so it seems that it makes a more efficient use of the resources but optical packet switching is not yet possible because we have some technological flaws the most important one is, is that we have not yet available optical buffers we are using instead of that uh, fiber delay lines which is not a, 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 let's say a nice solution the second important flaw is that to process appropriately these packets we would need nanosecond uh, or, or very fast very fast switches we don't yet have these switches commercially available so it is not possible to make uh, this this optical packet switching 
in the meantime it appeared optical bar switching as, a, as an intermediate technology. The idea is using the same concepts of optical packet but uh, um, with, with uh, slight differences. The most important one is that the, the, the header of the, of the packet is sent in advance. This way we avoid a uh, necessity for optical buffers because the header reach the next hop before the payload arrives. The second important difference is that uh, uh, um, this burst is a, let's say, jumbo packet. So we aggregate many packets and we create a super packet which makes not necessary having these nanosecond switches. The idea is that the, the control packet, the header is, is electrically processed at each intermediate node and when the payload arrives the switches are already uh, established in the appropriate position. Here we have how current packet switching is done. We see that they are optical to electrical converters at the input of the switching node and we have electrical to optical converters at the output. So this is not an optical network. This is this scheme is just using fiber to send the data point to point. The switching is completely electronic. This is how it's working nowadays, uh, the, the packet switching. We are thinking in a model where we make optical packet switching. So the switch is not any more electrical but it is an optical switch in this second uh, um, architecture. Here we have the problem that we need some time to process the header and 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 to to send the appropriate orders to the switch. This is why there is a this this kind of, of FDL fiber delay line at the input of the of the switch. This way we achieve that the, the payload is delayed and we leave time to the switch control to process the header and, and to make the appropriate to take the appropriate decisions. The architecture for optical bar switching consists in sending the header offline. So so we send the header before sending the real burst. This way we we give time enough to the switch control to put the, the, the switches in, in the desired position. Uh, of course this has some 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 disadvantages which is which are uh, how to process the different bursts that have to be sent. Well, once we assume that OBS is feasible, we it, it has yet some challenges. The first one is how to convert the small packets in bursts in these jumbo packets. They are two different strategies. One is based on, on, on size, so we send the bars when when the aggregated packets reach some size, or time based, which means we send the bars after waiting for for a determined uh, 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 period. Both of them have some advantages and, and, and drawbacks. The second one is on how we reserve the resources on the on the next nodes, on the intermediate nodes to the destination. They are again different strategies. Another challenge is how to schedule the bursts to be sent to the network. Maybe they, they can have some priority or, or, or we can use different strategies again. And finally, there is an issue on how to solve contention. Sometimes different bars 
will fight for the same resource and, and, and we decide to uh, delay one burst or to send using another path or we have again different alternatives to solve uh, contention so um, a final summary optical packet switching seems to be the right technology for the long-term future networks the main reason is that is that the traffic is internet traffic is mainly or only internet traffic so it is varsity so circuit switching I is I does not fit with with these traffic profiles the second uh, let's say conclusion is that OPS is not yet possible mainly because of, of, of we have not yet uh, photonic devices and uh, it appears optical burst switching as an intermediate technology it has some advantages of optical packet switching and it avoids some of the drawbacks of optical packet switching mainly some of the requirements some of the technological requirements are relaxed but uh, anyway optical packet switching is the long-term uh, solution again you have here some references about that about packet and, and burst switching technologies for far further reading and about future optical networks in general thank you and um, let's go to the third block